boss bitch. Boss ass bitch. How did that song come together? Class. On the table. Class playing Just around. stuff. First it was it was ugly ass no, bitch. We don't like that. Yeah, we don't like oh, it's we don't like that bitch. Yeah. So how, that, how did that it was a fight. It was a the fight. The same thing is just we don't like that bitch, 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 bitch. But it was like something in class and a girl we didn't like a girl. I had a fight in the alley. It was all of PTA, <laughs> and there was supposed to be nine of us. It was nine of us there, but um, all eight of us was supposed to fight, and there was only like three of us that fought, I think. Mm -hmm. And since us three fought, then the girls still talking mess and all that. She said, um, she told her friend, like, tell everybody that I went to jail, but she was in the hospital. But uh, we found out and all that, and her friend came in there talking mess or whatever. So we see her, and then she go out, we was like, I don't like that bitch. And we just start beating. And, yeah. yeah. But that's how we used to do with all our raps. Like, if somebody didn't like us or anything, anything we'll just topic. make a rap about anything it. Topic. As for fun. Right. <laughs> okay, so it started out with, I don't like that bitch. Mm -hmm. And it turned into... Boss, I'm a, a, yeah, because we couldn't make a song saying, I mean, that probably wouldn't sound right. I don't like that bitch. But I'm a boss ass bitch. Right. Sound better. Uh huh. You did the song, y'all recorded it, mm -hmm. and then you made the video. But where did you shoot that video? At yeah, school. Oh, at we did it all in, yeah. wasn't it all in one day? No, it was like a process because we had did the song on a Friday, and then uh, the next Friday, then we had to get ready for that video. We didn't get ready for nothing. We had to. I remember, I wore my sights on purpose. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You did the video. You throw it out there on YouTube, right? And then it, it suddenly starts getting played on the radio. Mm -hmm. Was that something y'all pushed yourselves, or did it just happen on its own? It just happened. How surprised were you? We were very, first we didn't even think the song would even blow like it did. Then wow. we started getting views. But we had it out maybe almost some, yeah, almost a year before it started getting played. But in the summertime, it's just when it blew. People was trying to sign us, people was trying to get this, trying to do that. It was like, oh my God, like this is really like real, yeah, really. Vine, the, yeah, the, Vine, the, yeah. Mm -hmm. Vine, yeah. Yeah, that's where we blew up at. That's how everybody found out about us, because everybody would make videos and stuff like that. Uh, and that would bring people to YouTube to go and look. And like, well, what is that? And that's how it So got. people started doing their own version of Boss Ass Bitch mm -hmm. on Vine, mm -hmm. basically. Yeah. Okay, so people started making their own little parody videos, mm -hmm. stuff like that. How, how many views does Boss Ass Bitch got right now? 11. That's what's up. That's a big deal right there. Yeah. So. How did it even get on the radio? Because you guys didn't, were you guys sending out the single, like the MP3 files or nothing? No. Someone just ripped it off of YouTube? Yeah. And played it on the radio? Yeah. How'd y'all feel when you first heard your song on the radio? I was happy. I was too. I'm like, wait a minute, this ain't us right here. Hold on, let me turn it. And then it was us. I'm like, oh my God, that was dope. It was real dope. We started getting emails and stuff on mm -hmm. Facebook saying like, y'all song on the radio and then we had to hear it for ourselves. So we had to keep listening, and we found out that it plays two times a day, which is at 2 o'clock and, like, I think at 5 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So that's how we told everybody, like, goes on the radio. And then we start having people trying to call in and listen to it more so right. it could get more out there. Yeah, that was cool. Okay. And then at what point did, like, the record uh, label offer start coming in? For, like, everybody? Just period. Like, at what point did, you know, people start reaching out to you? Uh, November, no, like November, once we start rapping more, right. once, yeah, once yeah, Devo, yeah, once once, yeah, it was like in November, once everybody start blowing, it's, it, it got hot in the summertime, but once November-ish came, then people was trying to sign us and right. get us on shows and all type of stuff, yeah, okay. all like in a week, all, everything happened in like one week. Okay, and why did you guys decide on Capital? I feel that they were the best for us. Yeah, as far as all the, all the other people and, and the deals that they were making and, and how comfortable I was, I felt that Capital was more comfortable for us and they had a better deal and that we could go far with them. Cool. Then uh, Nicki Minaj jumps on the song. Yeah. <laughs> how did that feel? It was shocking. 
Shocking? Yeah. I was kind of excited about it because for the people that didn't know, that, didn't know us, I felt that she kind of helped us out because they like, well, well, yeah, I felt that she helped us out because the people that didn't know us, they was able to go on YouTube and look us up that didn't know us. So I kind of felt that she got us more, what you would you say, publicity or exposure. exposure.